Hi, this is Trisha and Phil from SkiTalk.com. We are here today at Sky Tavern Ski Swap, and boy, are we finding some really fun treasures here today. It is. I mean, I love coming to Ski Swaps because we can go back in time a little bit, and since we're doing these throwback reviews, it gives us a chance to find some skis that are fun to do this review with, that people are still out there skiing, and we're saying, yes, yeah, some of these skis are still really good, Keep seeing it, maybe put a new binding on it, but let's talk about the history of the vocal mantra. Right now, this year, in the sixth generation of mantras, again, which really puts it back into about the turn of the century that these skis came out. And we've got here this white one here, which is the third generation of mantra. This one, I believe, came out around. 2007 or so, and this one here, I believe it's 96 underfoot. We have dim, dims on it. It's either 96 or 98. I have to double check what the dims on this one here, and I'll put it in the uh, little block here to give us that one here. But this is the skis and the mantras that really create the reference ski in these all mountain wide categories. Yeah, for sure. And and I remember at the time when this came out, um, they also had this very Japanese theme look and they had the vocal aura, which was the women's, the women's version, version yep. of this. Yep. That which, was a, that was a really popular yep. ski. So getting now into the sixth generation, there's so many things that happened since there. We've got the Taylor Tetano frame, we've got the um, carbon in the tips, which is also tailored. Um, they got the three D radius on it which makes the ski really accessible for the modern ski. Now with the mantra here, we've seen the pendulum swinging back and forth through the generations, the earlier generations and including this mantra, I thought were really accessible skis. I mean, this one here, I mean, balance on it, still a beautiful balance flex point on this ski, still works really well. When we got into the early 2000s, the ski got really stiff. And almost uncompromisingly stiff, especially when you got away, got into the book and sizes. Then they went into the, I think it was the fourth or fifth generation that went to zero camber. Wasn't the best days for that generation of mantra. But the new one here, what it really is, I think it gives us the strength of those stronger skis from the early 2000s. And that 3D side cut they do, which is a longer radius up front here, a shorter radius on the foot and a longer radius in the tail, created a lot of the versatilities that this ski had. Uh, but I mean, if you're still out there on this ski here, by all means, you want to upgrade the binds because this first generation Jester, is not grip wall compatible and also it's not indemnified anymore. I took this one off the rack over there. But with this one here, it's still a fun ski. It's a lot of fun. This one here is a better ski in every single aspect. But coming back to this original, I should, I, I'd say that this is close to original. You have the red one right before it, the bright red one, then the first one was the black ski. But I really like what Vocal did with this. And you can see definitely in the edges, we've got Vocal in the edges here, which is really cool, and I'll have this obviously I, in I the picture. I noticed a little mountain shape in the tip. Yeah, the no, actually, I didn't even notice that. That <laughs> is really cool. So you've got a really cool design on the base here, a great fun top, fun top sheet here, because in the end, skiing Skeet. is fun. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim Ryan. Uh, I'm in Teton Gravity Research Magic Hour. And I'm Madison Rose Ostergren. I'm in Daymaker Warren Miller's 73rd annual film. Yeah, and just remember, Skiing is, skiing is fun. Skiing is fun. <laughs> <laughs> skiing is fun, right, yeah. Jim? Yes. We will say it at the same time. One, two, three. Skiing is one, two. Three. <laughs> Remember, skiing is fun. If you enjoyed this informative video, hit that bell, subscribe so that you'll stay up to date on the new videos, and check out skitalk.com for more ski related content. Also, please follow skitalk.com on all of your social media channels. Please ask yourself, do you know where your 10 millimeter socket is right now?